Lex Luthor is Superman's arch nemesis and the epitome of the white rich man, who uses his wealth and power not only for personal gain, but to break the law and basically do whatever he wants, and then abuses his privilege so that he can get away with it. Those weapons you sold to the terrorists, how- How did I get them through customs? A gift here, a bribe there. When money talks, people listen. And sadly, this usually works and he gets away with all of his crimes. But there is one fate that Lex Luthor can't talk his way out of, and that is death, as you can't bribe the Grim Reaper as easily as a court judge. And this video is going to go over the 5 best deaths of Lex Luthor. Supergirl The only live action death on this list is from season 4 of Supergirl. Now I'm not actually a huge fan of the show, but when Lex Luthor was added to the cast, it did make the series a lot better and we've seen him lie and manipulate all those around him for quite a while now. Also, he could eventually get his hands on some superpowers of his own, and of course construct a battle suit that's basically the same as Iron Man's suit in this version, it's just a green colour instead of Iron Man's colours. And at the end of Season 4, Luthor is able to get a pardon from the President and become the Secretary of Alien Affairs, and he's using his power to blow up Argo City which is of course a Kryptonian city which is full of Kryptonians, obviously, and Superman. And he wants to kill them because, well, he's basically just a racist against Kryptonians. I hate Kryptonians. Of course, Lex Luthor is stopped by Supergirl, but it's still interesting to watch unfold. And in the fight between Supergirl, he actually fakes his own death, and the world thinks that Luthor is dead. But of course, he managed to escape at the last minute. He is a super genius after all. But sadly for him, his sister Lena figures out where he would go if he lost the fight, and then she goes there and kills him. We both know, no matter how much you despise me, you're not ruthless enough to pull that trigger. Now this was a surprising moment, because Luthor's not exactly the type of villain that the show would just throw away. Although going by the final scene of the episode, where the Anti-Monitor approaches Luthor's corpse, it's likely that he's going to be getting resurrected in the near future. But for now, Luthor is dead and gone in the Supergirl universe. Justice League Unlimited In the finale to the best DC animated series ever made, Darkseid is accidentally resurrected by Lex Luthor, and then Darkseid returns this favour by trying to kill him and all of his comrades, and then of course he invades Earth which causes the bad guys and the Justice League to have to team up with one another in order to hold back the forces of Apocalypse. Oh come on, it's Lex Flippin' Luthor! Why should we trust him? Hey, it's our world too! But Darkseid and his army are far too powerful for them, which isn't surprising since they have not only got meta-powered aliens and super-advanced sci-fi weapons, but they also outnumber Earth's armies considerably. And so Earth is going to lose. That is, until Luthor goes to the Source Wall and is able to get the one thing that Darkseid wants above all else, and that is of course, the Anti-Life Equation. Luthor then comes back to Earth and uses the Anti-Life Equation to kill Darkseid, and he seems to die as well, sacrificing himself to save the Earth. Well in truth he's mainly trying to just get revenge on Darkseid, but saving Earth is a nice fringe benefit. Now this death is a great ending to the Justice League series. And the only downside is that Batman later says, I doubt that either of them died. Which is why this death isn't higher on this list, as it is possible that Luthor and Darkseid both survived. Sadly, since this show ended, we'll probably never know for sure. But since we don't know for sure, I'm counting it as a death, as it's a damn good scene and a fantastic ending to a fantastic show. All Star Superman As I said, Lex Luthor is Superman's nemesis and as such, he has to be a reoccurring villain. Which means that no matter what evil plot he gets up to, he ultimately has to get away with it. After all, he can't be Superman's nemesis if they can't keep on battling one another. You're supposed to be in jail, Luther. The evidence didn't hold up. You should be used to it by now. Now, sometimes he might end up in prison for a time, but he always finds a way of getting out of there because no prison can hold someone as ingenious as Luthor is, especially with all the resources he has. But in All-Star Superman, we finally see him pay the ultimate price for his crimes, as he is executed for... Alexander Joseph Luthor, this court finds you guilty on all counts of crimes against humanity. 
Now, the first time they try to execute Luthor, it doesn't exactly go as planned, as he escapes thanks to gaining Superman's superpowers. But after he is defeated by Superman, he goes back to prison, and he doesn't even try to escape this time, though he clearly could if he wanted to. And he doesn't do this because, for the first time ever, Luthor seems to actually want to pay for the crimes he has committed, because he understands the great evil that he has done with his life. And in a way, this death shows a different side to Luthor, a man who realises the bad that he has done and seeks redemption in his death, which is something that we never see, as Luthor usually thinks his actions are not only justified, but that he is actually the good guy fighting the evil alien. So all in all, this death is not only emotional, but it's actually rather unique. Now sadly, we don't actually see this execution, probably because we've already seen the first one and it would just kind of be repeating itself. And it would also distract from his heroic sacrifice if we then saw him suffer. But all in all, this is actually a rather powerful death. I mean, we don't even see it and yet you can still feel the emotion from it as we see Luther looking so forlorn at the prospect and yet hopeful because, as I say, it could lead to his redemption. Justice League, the animated series. In this TV show, there is an alternative universe in which Lex Luthor has become president. He then abuses his power and killed the Flash, and is attempting to bring about the end of the world as we know it by launching all of America's missiles at everyone there is. And Superman can only stop him from doing this by using lethal force. And since billions will die if he doesn't, he has no choice but to use his heat vision to kill Luthor. Hera. Well. It had to be done. And this death is great for several reasons. Firstly, because we see Superman, the perfect hero, be a little more human, as he finally gives in to his grief and anger and does what we all want him to do, kills Luthor and ends his man's schemes once and for all. As I said, he did need to use the lethal force, but in truth, I think he could have found a way around it, possibly just grievously hurting Luthor, but he decides that enough is enough and ends him. But at the same time, it does also show us why Superman has to be the perfect hero and why he can never cross the line and kill his enemies. Because once he starts down this path, he can't stop himself from continuing. And given how powerful he is, no one else can stop him either. And the next thing the world knows is that they're living in a militant state with Superman ruling as an essential dictator, along with the rest of the Justice League. And an election isn't like football. There's a lot more to lose. True enough. So when do you think might be a good time to have one? Patience, Mr. President. So all in all, it's probably for the best that Superman doesn't normally kill Luthor. But it's still interesting to see what would happen if he did. Injustice. And speaking of a universe where Superman gives in and kills the bad guys, this one is the ultimate example. Now, in the normal DC comics, it has been established before that Lex Luthor and Superman are always in conflict with each other across the multiverse. If one of them is good, then the other one will be evil, and the two will ultimately clash. And it's no different in the Injustice universe, in which Superman is an evil dictator and Lex Luthor is the good guy. Unlike your Luthor, I've never indulged in lawbreaking. Superman doesn't suspect his best friend is funding the insurgency who goes on a suicide run in an attempt to take Superman down. Batman know about this? No, he would have insisted on using the weapon himself. I need to do it. Batman is the face of the insurgency. If he dies, it dies with him. Though of course he is unable to. Despite the fact that he takes a double dose of superhero pills to give him extra power, and that he has a superpowered battle suit that's complete with a kryptonite laser. I guess none of that compares to having the powers of a god, which does make sense to be fair. And so Superman easily rips his battle suit to pieces and ultimately ends up strangling his best friend to death. And we learn by the scenes that follow that people were actually watching this death, which means that it must have been broadcast worldwide and the people can't believe that Superman would go this nuts and kill his best friend, as most believe that he is a good man, who does what he does to protect the citizens of the world, only killing the bad guys, and only then the bad guys that he needs to. They don't believe that Superman is a madman who murders his friends when he doesn't really need to. 
So in a way, this was a turning point in the war against Superman, as the world finally saw him for what he was. And following this, Superman also seems to see himself for what he is, and basically embraces being a supervillain. Metropolis and Gotham, I'll flatten them. Set an example. Then, I'm finding the dimension these duplicates came from. They'll pay for interfering. Though I do have to say that although this being broadcast seems like a tipping point in the video game, in the Injustice comics it has been widely broadcast before that Superman does kill good guys. The biggest example of course being when he kills Black Canary live on TV. But this death clearly shows the stakes that the heroes are playing at in this world, and that Superman has fallen so far from grace that there really is no redemption for him. And usually when we see Lex Luthor, he is the personification of greed and selfishness. So it's refreshing and interesting to see him as the selfless hero, who knew before he went in that he was most likely going to die. He even went so far as writing a will and leaving a message for Batman in the eventuality of his death. That's how sure he was it was going to happen. But he still went on and fought Superman anyway, because it was the right thing to do which takes an insane amount of willpower and strength of character. And because of that, this is probably the only time that the two have fought that we weren't rooting for Superman and that we didn't want to see him killing Lex Luthor. And it's because of that that it is without a doubt the best Lex Luthor death that we have ever seen. At least in my opinion. But what do you think? Do you agree with this list? Or is there another death that you think should have been included? And which one of these deaths was your personal favourite? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those of you who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.